in Yorkshire, there are no gay people. So if you are looking for queers here, you're in the wrong place, love. It's not that kind of film. Gay people only arrived in Yorkshire in the mid to late noughties, arriving on the shores of Scarborough, blasting Christina Aguilera's beautiful and spreading out from there. Well, words can't bring me down, I tell you that for nothing. And as you well know, from that point on, Yorkshire became an oasis, a watering hole, an Eden for gay strays, a lesbian metropolis in the beating heart of Selby. But I'm getting ahead of myself. There was the beach landing of queers in Scarborough. And before that, there was nothing. Under here, in these parts, there are burrows. Tunnels upon tunnels, honeycombing through earth for metres upon miles. For years here, folks disappeared. For hours upon hours, slicing through rock in a kingdom below. They sank in cages to a depth of 2,000 hands. That's 2,000 palms down deep. And now... There is the presence only of absence. Tunnels covered up beneath the thick concrete carpet of the thick concrete car park. The term gay was first coined in 2003 by an aptly titled song Gay Bar by the group Electric Six. At the time, you may have also found the word used in the context of you're gay, or that's so gay, scrawled in the margin of a year eight geography textbook. Romance isn't dead, eh? Gay Bar was the first piece of gay music. And before that, there was nothing. Under here, in these parts, there are burrows, tunnels upon tunnels, and people hid in them hid themselves inside them. For years here, folks disappeared because speaking out meant slicing through rock. Kingdoms had to be hidden, quickly. Anything seen as promoting was sunk in a cage to a depth of 2,000 hands down deep and covered in a thick, warm, concrete. Tunnels upon tunnels, for miles upon miles for years upon years. And later. In a porter cabin cum classroom, we sit in rows, under a polystyrene tile roof, on top of what used to be a playing field. The afternoon clock ticks by. And in this cabin cum classroom, trousers, skirts, shirts and ties, a glass smashes through the window. Marsha P. Johnson really has better things to be doing than turning up to my secondary school, and yet she throws that first glass, which gives the go-ahead for Sally Francis to abseil in through the roof to the tune of Ethel Smith's serenade in D major, playing over the school tannoy. Audrey Lord takes over from the teacher as Freddie Mercury mainly sits playing guitar but happy to be involved as coal-covered fists start punching up through the floor tiles. I couldn't hear it, but you can. Julia Grant is opening a new bar out back. She's been here since six and we're all invited. Sylvia Rivera's on the mic and now everyone is making their way over to here. I couldn't see it, but you can. I couldn't see this, but you can. I couldn't hear this then, but now we can. In 88, miners joined queers and moved side by side, inside a crowd 25,000 strong in Manchester alone, to protest Section 28. In the end... We were all screwed over. And when it was over, the silence, the closures, 
we were all forced out into the open, with nothing to hold on to. And now we dig to find ourselves. Rights take a long time to win, but are quick to lose. And today we march not with pride, but with anger for what was stolen from us and what is yet to be taken. We can't party until the party is open to all. Romance wasn't dead after all. It just wasn't born yet. <laughs>